I know I should have a helmet on, but uh, normally I'm just creeping along here. Anyways, let me get that uh, let me get that frozen goop wiped out of my eyes. There, we made it back out here. As you guys saw last time, I had tried to get some woodcut, and some of the freeze thaw cycles that we had a few weeks ago really threw me for a loop because the bed in the mill, the uh, rails got. Uh, uneven and so I had to fix that last time but it's a fresh day out here as you can see the sun's shining but unfortunately the temperature has gone just like so and as a result uh, I'm I'm a little chilly but we'll make the best of it uh, I have to get used to being cold here in Canada as you can imagine it uh, tends to fluctuate but for the most part we got good six months of colder weather and that's what we're into today so I'm going to stop talking, get on in there, get things fired up here. This will definitely be a cold start because when I woke up this morning, it was negative 26 Celsius. And I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's not warm. So let's uh, head on in. Okay, what surprises we got for ourselves today? Well, doesn't look like too much. Everything's frozen. We should have a bit of fuel in there because we only cut one log last time. Let's turn on the gas here. Put the choke on, and this is a good negative 26 Celsius start. Oh yeah, she's firm. Oh. oh, come on, baby. Almost. Come on. Okay, well, good thing about starting an engine in the winter here, you get yourself warmed up before the engine. Come on. Come on. Oh, love them. Start. Oh, for God. Okay. Oh, I gotta switch arms. Okay, truth be told, I normally get a little bit of starting fluid or ether. Just give her a shot right near the intake of the air filter. But, I don't have that. Oh, for God. Okay. Well, the struggle continues. As you can tell, my lungs are pretty much on fire because if you go outside and you're huffing and puffing, it's just cold out, they tend to, tend to feel like they're bleeding. You guys know what I'm talking about if you live in this climate. Anyways, I'm gonna pull away a few more times here and uh, it'll start, I believe it will, it'll start. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Go. Come. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, it's not so cold out anymore. At least I don't think it is. But uh, we're not winning the battle here. So one of those upgrades I mentioned on the new HM130 Max, and I think probably one of the best uh, improvements is the electric start option. If you're trying to save money, don't save uh, don't save money on the electric start. Get it. You will uh, you will not be getting the exercise. I am. At this point if you had it okay back to it 
Success. through the pile here. I don't think I'll be getting them all done today. Normally I pull that back before I put the log on, but I seem to have forgotten, so now I gotta crank her all the way up. I don't like forgetting that too often. Wear my arm right off me. Okay. I think we'll get a 4x4 out of this and then split her in half the two 2x4s. Two I can just usually tell by looking at it what uh, what the cut's going to be and that'll come with experience. So I normally cut it at 5 inches, take the top off, flip her over, cut her at 4 inches. to work. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that. That's what it sounds like when the blade snaps. That was interesting. Let's see what happened. And you just gotta be careful here and I know this because I've seen it. When I open this the band wheel will still be turning. There's a lot of weight built up, a lot of built up energy there. So just be forewarned there. So obviously the blade snaps. So that's probably going to be the end of my day. Well, maybe not the end of my day, but uh, might be the end of uh, my cutting for now. 
and uh, not sure why it snapped who knows we'll probably find out eventually sometimes it's a nail in here and uh, it hits it sometimes the blade just gets worn out but uh, in this case might as well have a look Just be careful, there's built up, built up uh, a bit of a spring in this thing. You don't want her to fling back and hit you. I like to always check to see if it broke on the weld where they welded this blade. And it is looking like that is not the case. You guys see that? There doesn't look like any rhyme or reason why it broke there. You see it just, just broke right in the middle of the blade. Well, Let's have a look and see where the weld is. There's the uh, there's the weld right there. You guys can see it. So that uh, that sometimes is the weak part. If there's going to be one, other times, as you just saw, it uh, it breaks in one spot for no given reason, unless there's something in that log. So that's the end of that. I don't think we're gonna buff that one out her back here in the pile sort of my collection there these are the new ones <clears throat> let's see if there's anything going on here in the log I don't think there is um, I don't think there's anything in these logs these logs are they haven't had nails or anything driven into them so could just very well have uh, been its time. I don't know if that blade got hot. It shouldn't because it's cold as ice out here today. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Well, guys, I don't know if you've seen a blade snap in real time or not, but there you go. That's exactly what happens. As long as you keep all the guards in place, including the door shut, you're not going to have any safety concerns. But just so you know, it makes a loud bang, and that's exactly what it sounds like. Anyways, we got a pretty good, uh, pretty good douse of wood cut there. As you can see up there, that's not bad for a nice day. Pretty sunny out still, so I'll probably take the skidoo out for a few laps and call it a day and head on in and grab a coffee. Guys, thanks for watching. Any questions at all, put it down below. Hope to see you all next time.